Hey, what's up, guys? Indian Sensei here. Welcome back to another episode of Ninja Voltage. And the Great Guild War beta version has already arrived in the game. And if I just read all the stuff, it is gonna take too much time. So I'm just gonna show you by via video at how you what you need to do to progress in these missions. So first, we will just have a quick, a uh, very really quick overview of what uh, the notice says. So the Great Guild War has like two parts which will uh, alternate every 24 hours between fortress and ascent period and attack period so as you can see uh, Tuesday is 23rd of April and 9 UTC we got the update and till for 24 hours fortress and ascent period will go on and after that attack period will start so when attack period starts you will have to attack on other people's guild fortress and they will attack uh, your guild fortress I don't know how it is gonna work out but we will see that tomorrow for now we have fortress enhancement period so in this you have to just keep on playing missions uh, and get certain rewards which are called tactical tactician scrolls so yeah when you use these scrolls uh, uh, on your guild fortress installation you enhance them and when you enhance them you get contribution points and according to your contribution points you are ranked in the guild so we are looking for like um, I mean every guild has like top eight places so every for the top four places will be uh, their shinobi will be placed in the final room and the other four shinobis will be placed in the defense room so yeah so this keeps alternating every 24 hours and, and it will end on 30th of april and 30th of april is gonna be a little less time because they say the attack period will be shorter on the final day so six hours shorter and when this all ends so when you attack on somebody's fortress, uh, somebody guild fortress, then you will get some war points if you win. And if they attack on your fortress and they lose, then also you will get war points. And according to those war points, the overall rank of your guild in the world will be decided and those results will be announced. So uh, th uh, according to those war points and according to those ranking, you will get certain rewards. So I will show you with that in later, what are the rewards. So uh, this is basically what the great guild war is all about so so what applicable missions are that you need to play is ninja wave missions roundup mission special mission attack mission so it doesn't matter which mission you play you will still get the uh, tactician scores and keep in mind you don't you will not you don't insta achieve or lose or leave the mission because if you do any of these things you will not get the tactician scores because you know uh, insta achieve if you just you know click on the mission and insta achieve that way it is not going to be fair so they have decided to remove the rewards if you use insta achieve or if you lose or if you leave the mission in between especially in team attack missions so yeah rest rest of the stuff is really not important uh, i mean it is important but i'm on, not gonna say it i'm just gonna show you a video how you what you need to do to complete this guild war mission successfully so yeah uh, just uh, i will show you in the video now
after collecting all those tactician scrolls what you just have to do is go to your guild guild war section and go to your guild fortress and installation enhancement and inst enhance everything that you can with your uh, tactician scrolls for example i will try to max out this so as this uh, enhancement increases at every level the required scrolls to evolve its level also increases so as you can see uh, I, I just it takes like 14000 uh, tactician scrolls to it, um, increase it by level 1 in this case it takes 70000 scrolls to increase by level 2 so it it keeps on changing i mean it uh, it is dependent on the level of your installations so probably at max level they will take like 1 lakh points to get it to 49 to 50 so yeah so if i increase this so my summoning of it this it doesn't mean the summoning of shinobi it means these summoning the in which random shinobi appears or this animal summonings and there is uh, one more for large animal so this is the nine tails power this is the summoning power of uh, you know these characters like these uh, two toys or these dogs these ninja ninjas normal ninjas and these uh, the big summonings and also we don't have anything for the shinobis that you have already placed in your base only for the traps also so these are the traps one so if you use your uh, tactician scrolls on them so you increase their power also we have like these statues installations which is basically the installations like these air scrolls or this uh, lava the four tails lava statue which we got from so when you do this your contribution increases in the guild and your rank also increases in the guild so what that means is when you go to this shinobi selection so as you can see my rank got from it was like seven or eight before now i have forty thousand uh, contribution points so my rank is six so i am now part of the top eight so my shinobi will be used in the defense so that's how it works so the top four the one two three four will be used in the final room the other five seven eight and nine will be used in the other other four defenses so, so basically what i am trying to say is uh sorry five six seven eight so mine is upper so it is not visible here so the four shinobis first four shinobis the first four people who have the highest contribution will be part of the final room and the other four people will be part of the defense so you what you have to do is just keep on enhancing your fortress and if you are in the top eight then you will get to place your good shinobi in your fortress defense of guild so that's how all it how all it works so you just have to keep on playing and playing uh, you have 24 hours and again this will get reset uh, after the attack period i mean uh, tomorrow when the attack period will start you cannot change anything in the guild fortress so when the attack period is going on you will just have to attack on the other guilds to get like the war points and they will attack on your guild base and if they lose then you will get uh, war points so yeah when this ends this two thing like guild enhancement fortress enhancement period and attack period then again fortress enhancement period will arrive and you're probably i think probably all of the things will get reset then you will have to play all over again from the start in the 24 hours then this is going to repeat till the 30th of april and the great guild war will end and after that the rank will be tallied which will give you rewards accordingly so if you go here to the details uh, and reward list so based on your war points of the guild you will get a rank so rank 1 to rank 100 you will have get these rewards which are pretty awesome uh, so yeah same as uh, Sam guild ranking you get rewards so in this you will also get rewards on the basis of guild war so yeah and also Facebook campaign is going on which 
so you can check it out like their post and what all they are asking if you do that you will we all will get like 100 shinobites and all other stuff so yeah also there is special shinobi so what is this is basically if you put these shinobi in your fortress uh fortress defense for example i will show you so if i go to here so as you can see uh, this is the normal stat of the sarada on the base 20000 hp 13000 attack 3500 cp and defense is 13000 but if you go to like the shinobi selection screen then you will be able to see that the power level of the special shinobi squad is increased by some amount so if you go here so as you can see attack and defense and hp all these things increased by some amount so yeah if you use special shinobi squad in your defense they will have enhanced power level same that happens in sam during sam so yeah so yeah uh, i think this might help you get started so just keep on playing keep on using your lp when your lp is zero can keep on playing your team attack mission to get so as, as i said earlier it doesn't matter what mission are you playing you will still get uh, forward in your guild investigation and you will get random rewards so yeah i hope you guys like this video if you did drop down a like and comment and if you have any questions uh, you can just put a post in the comments and i will be happy to answer them and if you're new to the channel do subscribe and i will upload another video tomorrow about the attack period as we have no much information about attack period what is going to happen so i will upload another video tomorrow so yeah uh, stay tuned for that so until next time sayonara <laughs>